What's up, fams? Welcome back to my channel. As you all know, this was just released recently. Uh, so it's Warriors Season 2020 Cinematics League of Legends Feat 2 WEI and Edda Hayes. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I do not know them. But looking right now, as the starting scene that we have over here, it looks like we're in Freljot this time. You know, because it's like snowy and mountainy and blah, blah, blah. So usually this will always associate to Freljot, correct? So without further ado, dear warriors, we are going to react to the first ever cinematic of League of Legends. Let's go. Oh, Garen! Ooh! Oh, that's... Oh, my locks is so pretty! <gasps> As a child, you would wait and watch oh. far away. Is that where God? Azrael? Mazahar, Silas. Is this a new skin for Silas? Ezreal! Oh no! Kaylin? Howdy! Oh my god! Vi. was literally a toned down version of the 2015 i think it was 2015 warrior song but the whole thing that captured everything was so good i mean like um like, like for example how you actually see you know vi you know playing uh, getting herself back uh, you know from, from how lux finally deciding that yes you know i cannot just stand there and sit there and watch my brother get thrown around and stuff but you know uh, because i was kind of expecting trendemir to be there and i kind of it, it like it got me into like a very weird um mind thinking 
is that supposed to be like my infarct? I guess because I was expecting it to be Freljord, but turning out that it was actually the Masins over there. So I guess it was during snow times in the Masia. Yeah. But this though, is this supposed to be a new skin for Silas? <laughs> I mean, look. Hey, upcoming new skin, maybe? Uh, and I was expecting that Malzahar would be here. But instead, actually, Kaisa came out, though. So, that is just something. I mean, they, um, because basically, they did not, I did not expect, like, uh, you know, like, something else to come up. You know, like for example, you know, I expect like Trinity to be here, but it's not here. And then I'm so happy that they actually put Caitlyn and Vine here as well, where they, whereby they actually try to capture all the other um, world or uh, other 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 region in Runeterra. Yeah, other region in Runeterra. So it's actually nice to see the you know, Zon, and then you see um, uh, Ezreal trying to actually like. Uh, I think Ezreal was exploring, trying to get some runes and stuff, and then he met Kaisa. So I think that one is like in the um, the, 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 the desert area. I forgot what which which one is that though. But yeah, so it's kind of nice to see all this different different kind of thing though. But I'll be honest, over here Garen looks a bit Chinese. <laughs> No, because the way the, the art the way they design it this time round, Garen looks Chinese. <laughs> Ezreal yeah. But I mean everything looks nice though over here. But this part I love this part that you know uh, because at the end of the day Vi really had to like uh, rely just on her hand instead of her gauntlet. So which is really really cool in my opinion. Um uh, starting uh, for starting um, this time round, it actually like gives the empowerment of you know, you know you should not run. Okay, you should not run when the battle is ongoing. You should just fight back as much as you can. And to be you know, to be honest, this part when suddenly like, you know Lux shoot the beam out, and then later on we got to know that Galio came down. That was like. Whoa! It kind of reminds me of you know one of um his oh yeah his splash art you know when he came down like the big gallery over there which is so cool to see as well. This part I was like, is that supposed to be like a a a a, a shield or something? So it's like oh it's Galio. I'm like, oh. But one thing I'm a bit disappointed. Lux did not scream. <laughs> Lux did not scream. I was expecting her to scream. Like, ah! Her ulti, right? But um, so far, I would say to this year's uh, first cinematic, uh, I can say it really inspires. It, I, I got goosebumps a few times while watching this video as well, though, because um, the way they actually like change the tone of warriors from the last time to like the the slowed down version to give all the empowerment uh you know it, it, it somewhat arises you know you're like yes i'm getting ready for season 2020 you know so i mean this is cool this is awesome really uh I mean, I can't really wait to see uh, what more um, content they're gonna release soon, because they did say that along this week there's a lot of things that they're gonna release slowly, right? So, uh, so far this is a very good start for um, League of Legends. I really, really cannot wait, and I cannot wait to go back into game and you know start climbing rank and <laughs> maybe fail to do that again. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> well, see, server is hard though, guys. Sees over his heart, but it's okay. I'll try my best. <laughs> Let's try, we'll try our best to actually be the best once again. I you know. Hope to see you guys more in um, upcoming contents. Uh, yes, do let me know what you guys think of this year's um, starting season cinematic. Because to me, this was awesome. It gives it a whole different direction of you know, uh, you know, in terms of like how they want to like push out. Is that it? I guess do you guys what do you guys understand what I'm saying? I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> because this is so cool. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in upcoming videos. Bye!